everyone so i'm back to just quickly show you my altar jars um i have waited to see if the lighting improves the lighting situation but it's still miserable outside so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys um more in detail of how i altered these so i'll show you this one last because that's the one that i've done the tutorial on and then i'll show you these first so like i said i use these prima flowers for the tops of the jars and they came out really adorable so on this one you can see i've used some flat lace which is common on all of them this is the one i've used as the base layer then i've used this white embroidery lace on this one this is a vintage piece of lace here a layer of a bit of pink that i wanted peeking through and another vintage lace there and then this is some ivory uh, flat back pearl that i've used on the top um, of this one and um, so that came out really adorable and then on the top of this one the flower is the lightest out of the three a doily some tools sticking out here and there just to give it some um, nice texture and then for the dangles I've used um, different laces and trims that I had left over and I have got some um, pearl string hanging down the side as well so the iridescent pink some white and ivory again I've kept kind of with the same color theme for all of them so that is the first one okay and then I did this one so this and this you can see the pearls are different and the layers are different so with this one again um like i said the same base then i've used a vintage doily edging then another one of this is my favorite favorite vintage lace i have it's so delicate and then i've used this um taupe or like a nude brownie nude color lace here and then a thinner lace on the top and white flat back pearl on the side and then this prima flower which is really beautiful it's the darkest one out of the three um which is topped on top of some more tool and doily and i did just sold the cups of each of the jars and then here i've done a similar kind of thing with the lace trims and i've added um a silk ribbon in there as well and some pearl strings so that's that one and then the one that I've done the video on, I was contemplating whether to add another lace here. So I did. I found this beautiful um, lace here. And this was from my friend Annie, who's Miss Garden Grove one. And I absolutely love this. I think I was hoarding this. So I pulled that out and I used it in the centre there, which came out really beautiful. And another thing I did differently on this one was I had one pearl string that I shown on my video. Um, and it looked a bit lonely, so I added... Um, another strand here and it's the smaller one so it looks just as nice next to the larger pearl strings and then you saw me add the flower and the tool and the dangles on the edge so they came out really really cute um i think it's just so much fun to alter these jars um especially if you've got embellishments and things that you can just you know um, put in these things and just make it look pretty um, I think I'm going to use these probably for but buttons and um, resin pieces the small resin pieces I'm not sure but they will look really pretty with all my um, crafty bits and pieces I'm going to put the pinkish one in the middle so let me know what you think and I'll put the link to the tutorial on this one below so if you've missed that maybe go and check it out it's so easy to do um, took hardly any time at all but it was so much fun so thank you so much for watching i'll show you how it looks with the light on oh my goodness it looks very yellow i don't like it at all um but this is more the true color of them i know it's a bit dull sorry about the light quality here um but like i said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon and if you are interested in the giveaway that's going on i'll put the link to that below as well so there's still plenty of time um hope you join in um take care for now bye